Hello my friends and welcome to another vlog where I talk about my projects and my life and today just like on two vlogs ago I will record while I draw something for you shit I can't find alright here it is let's go uh, so first topic I wanna talk I wanna tell you another funny story uh, uh, about my past so uh, there was do you remember Orkut the social media that was big before Facebook uh, yes there, there was this social media and up to a point from one point forwards Orkut had the daily luck like the daily horoscope or something for you it was not based on zodiac or anything it's just like your luck for today is and something something so uh, they, they were predetermined like there were like a dozen of those that were sorted out and given to you every day but anyway there was one day I was in high school where one friend of mine owed me money like not a lot of money just a little cause you know Teenagers, how much you're gonna owe your friend? Like, it was five bucks, something like that. And he and we had the interval between classes, and he said, "Okay, I'm gonna get the change on the cafeteria to pay you. But will you please accompany me? I don't wanna take the line alone to buy my snacks." And I was like, "Oh, come on! I just wanna use the computers." And he was like, oh, dude, come on, just make me company while I buy my stuff and I'll pay you. I'll pay you not extra, I'll pay you what I owe you. you know? uh, I was like, alright, alright, let's, let's go to the cafeteria together. Then we went there when he bought something to eat and paid me. Then after he ate, there was still a little time left on the interval and we went to the computers. There... I looked at my luck on Orkut for the day. My luck was your friends don't want your money, just a little of your time. <laughs> you see, he asked me to accompany him to and he was asking me for my time and he was owing me money. So your friends don't want your money, just a little of your time. It was perfect. <laughs> and when I read that, we both started laughing aloud. And it was really funny. That day, <laughs> I'll never forget that. Then, let's say, I've been studying Japanese. And I've gotta say, I, I love Japanese culture in many aspects. And I mean many, many aspects. But, as I learned Japanese language, I gotta tell you, there's some things there that are so impractical, dude. I mean, super impractical. For example, last week I started studying how to count things. And of course, it's not just learning the numbers, which I already learned. It's one of the first things you learn. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, blah, 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 blah. No. For each type of thing, you're gonna count. For each one of them, you've got to end the number with a specific suffix. For example, you're going to count little animals. You don't say, oh, there are three cats there, instead of three. Oh, hello, Pierre. You would say something like, uh, for small animals, you, you say, there are three Z's cats there. There are four Z's cats there, but that doesn't work if we're gonna co count like big animals. Then it's gonna be there are three tall an animals there. There are four tall animals there, and there are stupid categories. There is one category that is like uh, narrow and long objects, like pens or fingers, or you can imagine other things. <laughs> Uh, there is a category for that, there is a category for footwear, there is a category for ve vehicles. You've got to end with a different suffix each of those things. 
It's stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna say it right here. It's straight up stupid. It's impractical. Why would I have to memorize so many suffixes just to count things up? It's a waste of mental energy. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Anyways. I still love the culture, though. It's just that the language is a little frustrating at times. Then, well, let's go to a more pleasurable object uh, subject. Uh, I said on my last vlog that I summoned a legendary Lin on Fire Emblem Heroes and that she was minus attack on IVs and that's a super bane. Well, I ended up building her anyway and I built her, uh, enhancing her attack the most I could. I gave her life and death 2, because life and death 3 is too expensive, but I'll give her later. Which enhances her attack and speed by 4 points, and decreases her resistance and defense by 4 points as well. I gave her this, I gave her attack CO plus 3, and I gave her Moonball to ensure that she lowers the enemy's defenses. I made all I could to give to give her a offensive edge, even though she had naturally minus four attack, which is very frustrating. She was plus resistance though, so I if I substitute life and death two by fury three, and I use the sacred seal of brazen attack resistance, she's gonna be an awesome resistance tank that counterattacks and destroys opponents. So, so she has that versatility there, with two ways that I can build her to good effort. Yeah, and uh, on another point, I summoned a plus attack Loki. Yeah, I was, I managed to get a Loki. I was really looking forward to getting one, but I was summoning for Lin, and when Lin's banner went away, I tried once or twice to get Loki, and I got her. Really happy though really happy with that. I'm just sorry that probably starting tomorrow Loki won't be a bonus character on Arena anymore probably so I will I will have to find another character to play with. I'm not summoning for this new banner they just just came up with with Makoto and Korins and stuff. Even though I wanted Makoto and Camilla I think I'll save up orbs for now, for the future. I think it's it's best. It's best. And I'm playing Sonic Mania. I finished Ray's story. Then I started playing Mighty's story. I already collected all emeralds for Ray, but I didn't do the ending with him yet. Not in the mood to play the Mega Monarch stages. Not really. Not in the mood at all. And you know. But uh, Might is fun, not as fun as Ray, I think, but it's still fun, it's still fun. Now, uh, to my projects, finally. Uh, there was this art fair here in my city last Saturday, and I took part in it. You know, my father and my mother-in-law, her wife, they both participate in a group where they make independent art and they go to these art fairs of independent publications. There, there is a lot of, of subculture things, creations, and the public goes there to buy pieces of booklets, small pieces of art, and things like that. And, you know, I put my pieces there with their group this time. I made, like, a few, a couple lewd, pictures, not explicit sex, but huge breasted women in <laughs> in suggestive poses, I put there to sell, and I put some watercolor portraits I made to sell, like a Merlin one, an elf one, uh, and another random, a couple random stuff I made there. So it's really nice participating of those fairs. I don't know if I sold something because 
we were like disputing a lot of attention there. I was disputing attention both with other people in the fair and with people from our group because we had only one stand for all of our works. And when I went there, mine weren't like at the top of the table, even though they were hanging a wall nearby. But it's okay. That got me a little hyped. I might do more arts. Looking forward to the specific demographic of people who goes to these fairs, so that I might do better there. You know. Do some arts. Looking for that. And you know, last vlog I also I, I said that I'm, I was not sure whether or not the game I'm making with my friend who lives abroad is continuing, but it is. After more than one month without doing meetings online, last week we made one and it was reassuring. The project lives, I got a little of my hype back, my game is on, my game is going on. Now what I am not sure of, I'm still feeling overwhelmed by everything I'm doing and there aren't, the, and there aren't even any freelances going on for me in the past week or two, uh, but I, I'm feeling overwhelmed just by my personal projects. Getting better at art, doing my game, making 3D scenarios and writing a story. All those things, all those things, even though I love doing each one of them, they feel like too much and I feel like I can't give enough effort at each one of them to really, really go forwards with them, you know? But I, I, I might change the, the priorities by which I do each of those things. Or I might abandon one of them temporarily, I don't know. I don't know, I'm still... I, I know I talked about this for like... I've been talking about this probably from ever since I started this vlog or... Maybe before, for outside the vlog to people I know personally I've been talking about this. It's just that finding a balance to where I wanna take my art, to where when I wanna take my professional efforts, looking for the future... I don't have a clear answer my head at all but just finding that answer just looking for this that answer that that per se is rewarding finding out trying things that's so rewarding itself just like Bruce Lee said success is in the journey not in a goal so just so long as I am sincere to myself and I keep on giving my best, I am on the right path, somehow, you know? This face I'm drawing now looks like he is aroused. Yeah, I'm aroused, I'm in love. <laughs> well, I think that it, that's it for this week, friends. Thank you very much for watching this vlog. And yes, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for more on my channel. Art videos, vlogs, funny stuff. Yeah, that's it. Well, I think I'm gonna go now, friends. Uh, have a great week. Great, great week. And uh, I guess... Bye-bye.